Hey guys, how's it going? It's Eric King, and today is my first official day of summer break, so I'm gonna be a lot more active. You guys are gonna be seeing a lot of new edits and tutorials from me, along with a couple other things like my IRL video, which I've had planned for a while, but I just haven't been able to do it because of finals and AP testing. But in order to do tutorials, I'm gonna need your guys' help, as in um, I need suggestions, recommendations, feedback, any of that stuff, because I wanna make sure that my tutorials are actually helpful and people are learning from them and that people actually want to see more of them because I have a lot of great ideas planned and I'm going to need feedback from you guys just saying anything I could improve on anything that I need to uh, show a tutorial on that I know how to do I can do a lot of stuff so if you guys don't know something and you just want to ask then you could just put it in the comments or you could tell me on uh, Twitter or Skype and I will get to it if I feel like it's a really good uh, tutorial or a really good effect that I can do Today what we're going to be doing is an effect that I did in Saw Jexy's and InfoZG's episode and it's right at this part and he's going to aim in and the scope is kind of going to be like zoomed out There's gonna and then the one in the um, middle is going to zoom in. So it's a pretty basic effect but you can do a lot with it and I'm going to be saying that a lot in the video so I'm just going to show you how to do that now. I already have my After Effects and I actually already have it done. It's gonna look like this, so obviously it looks a lot better in this because there's um, screen palms, color correction, black bars, but I'm just gonna show you how to do it in this right now, a little bit more in detail. So you're just gonna wanna drag in your clip to the composition that you're gonna use and go to the part where he zooms in for a pretty long time. You can see like these ones um, aren't really as good because he doesn't aim in for that long. That one would probably be okay, but you wanna to try to pick the one where he zoomed in the longest because something like that where it's really quick won't look as good. It looks a lot better on something that lasts a long time. You can twix it if you want to, but um, I'm just gonna do this part right here. So he zooms in for a pretty long time right here, as you can see, a lot longer than the other ones. I'm just gonna to go to the part where he's aiming in and this is where we're gonna just start the effect. Um, the first thing you want to do is duplicate your layer with Control D. So now you have two of the same clips, and you want to go to the part where he zooms in the second it makes this whole scope thing, and then go to your ellipse tool on the top. It's going to look like an oval or a circle. If it looks like a square or something, you um, just open up the tab, and it'll have a lot more options for shapes and stuff. But we're just going to use the ellipse tool and Click on the middle and hold it so it makes this kind of oval thing. Then you want to press shift or hold shift and then hold control on your keyboard and that's going to make it a perfect circle in the middle of the screen. And you just set it to around the scope. Um, if you want to move it, like let's say it's off center, you just click on the mask right here and you can just move it along like this. Mine looks pretty good so I'm just going to leave it. And now we can actually start the effect. If you hide the layer below it, you can see that it's just a circle like this. So you can just check to make sure you're on the right page with me. And it looks pretty ugly right now with this, but um, we're going to do a lot more stuff. First thing you want to do though is take the bottom clip and bring up the scale with S on your keyboard. And you just want to bring it up to a part where you can't see the black edges. Um, so like 270, 260. And you can see it looks a, like there's a lot of pixels, like pixelated, um, the screen's like really pixelated. So how you fix this, how you make it look a lot cleaner is you go to your effects and presets and go to camera lens blur. And then you put it on your bottom clip and it already looks a lot better. You can set the blur up to as much as you want. I'd probably stick between five and eight. So I'm gonna have it at six right now. And now all you need to do is fix these edges right here, along with um, making it so it doesn't go like this throughout the whole thing. So you wanna go to your mask, open it up, and go to the mask feather and set it to about 15 or 25, uh, depending on which you like. I'm just gonna pick 15. 
and you can do a lot of stuff with this, um, like mask expansion, you can do like, uh, I don't know, like a screen pump or something, something really cool. I'm just showing you the basic effect, and if you look at it now, it's gonna look nice throughout the whole thing, but once it gets outside of the clip, it's going to look pretty weird. Same with before. So the way, there's a couple ways you can fix this, but I'm just gonna show you the cleanest way, and that's with a lot of keyframes. So. If you go to the one, the frame right before he aims in, set the scale to 100, and then keyframe it, then set the blur, the camera lens blur to 0 and keyframe it, go to the next frame where he zooms in, and then put it back to normal, uh, camera lens blur at 6, and scale at like 260, 270, and now you can see the front, it looks fine, he zooms in, and then this happens. So you just need to do the same thing at the end, um, just keyframe, or if you bring up U, press U on your keyboard, you bring up all of your keyframes on the layer, you can um, press camera lens blur, press scale, and then go to the frame where he zooms out, and then set the blur to 0, and the scale to 100. So now, if you look at it, it looks pretty nice. You could just end it off here if you want, but what I did in Jaxi and ZG's episode, is I brought up the scale for the top clip and when it zoomed in I scaled it um, put a keyframe at 100 then went to the part where he's about to zoom out and set it to 20 and there's actually something else you want to do because right now if you look at it it looks pretty boring when it zooms in it's just a constant speed the whole time you highlight your keyframes right click on it Key from assistant easy ease or f9 on your computer and now it's going to be a little bit more uh, fluid but you can do a couple other things with it if you use graph editor which is going to be something i'm going to use a lot in my tutorials um, graph editor makes your edits look so much better if you know how to use it so i'm going to be doing it for my syncing my pan crop um, anything else you guys want to know i just need to get good feedback from that but the basic stuff for uh, graph editor is highlight your keyframes like I said then go to um, actually what you want to do first off is go to the frame after this one where it's set to 20 and you can see it looks like really small over here just set that back to 100 so then it looks normal um, highlight your keyframes on the top go to your graph editor this little graph thing right here and then you want to just take this, click on the um, little box right here, and then just drag it down so it makes kind of like a like a slope. Then you can also drag this one back. Uh, you might just want to mess around with it a little bit. Uh, it doesn't have to look exactly like mine, but pretty much what this is doing is it makes the scale go zoom out or zoom in really fast, and then when it gets towards the bottom, it kind of just slows down and then goes back to normal when he zooms out. So, if I ram preview this, it looks really nice, it zooms in. Like I said, you can do so much with this. You can make it um, your own effect by doing a lot of other things. You can do as much as you want to it. Um, there's just so much you can do with this. It's a really great effect. But this is pretty much the basic thing for it. It's gonna look a lot better with color correction, uh, screen pumps, because if you add like a pan crop or screen pumps to it, it will zoom in and then the screen pump will make it zoom back up. But other than that, that's pretty much just what this effect is. That's all you have to do. It's pretty simple, like I said in the beginning of the video, but um, for those of you who wanted to know how I did it, that's pretty much all I did. It's gonna make your edits look a lot better because um, if there's a clip where you zoomed in for a long time, you can just add this to it and it's gonna make the zoomed in part just a little bit more entertaining. But other than that, that's pretty much it for the video. Uh, thanks for watching if you watched the whole way through. And make sure you give me feedback. But like I said, that's it for the video. And uh, thank you guys for watching.